So our plan allows grad students, faculty, as well as any other companies, uh, access to a relatively inexpensive testing technology. So uh, rather than going out and getting a real plane and doing all these things, you can do this with this plane. This plane was made with under a $10,000 budget and insurance on them is relatively cheap. Hiring a pilot for them is relatively cheap. So now you can do a cost-effective way of gathering high efficient data. Whereas a simulation, there's a lot of variables you can't account for. You know, simple things like wind, um, you know, how it, how it changes during flight and things like that. And you kind of need all those variables to make sure that you get the right data that you want whenever you're making a plane. Basically, this would allow um, a student to go into the field of flight testing where you would take the planes that are being researched, being manufactured, things like that, and run tests and simulation tests on them so that you can see exactly how they would perform doing these maneuvers, performing at these high speeds and things like that. You know, we actually have a payload bay within the plane that allows professors to uh, put in any kind of testing instruments. Say they want to gather, you know, data about pressure, uh, stress about the plane when it's doing these maneuvers or flying at these high speeds. And they can actually gather whatever they want. Divided up our team into four separate teams, you know, aerodynamics, structures, propulsion, avionics. And what aerodynamics did is they ran simulations on what kind of plane would fit our needs. You know, so we chose specifically a compound delta wing and the first, the first delta, the first sweep angle, it's a very high angle. So it allows for uh, airflow to go straight to our jet engines. And then the second sweep it has a lower sweep angle and it allows for stability things like that. So our shape has to deal with efficiency and stability and it also allows us to do those maneuvers that we want to do. What we did is we made a complex shape with a simple manufacture with simple manufacturing techniques. So we didn't really use anything complicated. What we did is we actually used a CNC machine to one make our mold for the outside of the plane. Uh, two it made a, it helped us um, cut out our foam core that we use inside the wings and inside the fuselage. The 3D printer we use to make some of the flaps, some of the parts that are internal of the plane, but it's not a very big part of it. And then the third one, the composite techniques, that's what actually makes the whole body, you know, what actually makes the skin of the plane. We used fiberglass for the whole outside of it, uh, excluding the canopy. The canopy made, was made out of carbon fiber. And, as well as the elevons and the, the vertical tail. It's just like an RC car basically with a lot more buttons. <laughs> <laughs>